Hi guys, this is lesson number 63 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to set bleed limits, cropping area around our design layout. In our previous lesson, we created this design layout for our business card and we set these guides for the text. We created small uh, square in the corner and we set these guides. But in this lesson, I am going to show you more efficient and easy way to do the similar task. The things I am going to explain to you now, it's supposed to be in the previous lesson, but for demonstration purpose, to make everything easy, I just separated that. Once you will prepare your design layout, you're supposed to do in the beginning this all. So we will start with the bleed limits or cropping area. What is bleed limit and why it is important in our design layout? This lesson, it is very important for the graphic designer and uh, Corel Draw user, those who want to send their job for printing. The things I am going to explain now, that's very important for printing press or advertising company. If you will not provide this specific setting in the printing, you might get unexpected result. So let's get started. What is actually bleed limits or cropping area? Cropping area or bleed limits is the space that you will set around your actual size. Once in the printing press, they will print this card in actual size. After that, they need to trim with the cutter. Sometime there is a possibility that there might be a white space around the edges, wherever is the background. If in our final printing job, white space appear around here, it doesn't look nice. To avoid that white space around your design, you need to extend your background beyond the actual size. Let me explain you practically so you will understand these things. Now this is our actual size, 8.9 by 5.1 centimeter. This is supposed to be the final card size. We can set our bleed limit or cropping area beyond this size. So we can extend our background with that. To do that, you can simply double click on rectangle tool to create one rectangular shape around your actual size. There are several ways to set the bleed limits or crop area, but I will show you the most easy and simple way. Rectangle shape is there. Using contour tool, we can give offset or inset. So let's do that. Here under drop shadow, we have contour tool. I will click it. If I want to set the area around my design layout, I can click on this rectangular shape and click and drag it out this way. Now you can see that contour shape is expanded. Now if I want to set the size 0.698, it is the size once I drag my mouse, we can set here 0 0.3, 3 mm, 0 0.3 centimeter and hit enter. Around our actual design, we have cropping area. Let's assign the guide for our bleed limit. So first thing you need to do, you need to go to the view, snap to and make sure that guideline, object and page is checked. Then just pull the guide this way. It will be snap from left to right as well. Okay, we added guideline. Let's remove these guides. Previously, we have this. Okay, so this is how we set our bleed limit. Now it is very easy. We can set our guideline for the text. To do that, once again, we will use the contour tool. Click it, select the shape, and from this point, bring it inside. Okay. Now we don't need to worry about uh, bleed limit because guideline is there. Inside, again, I will set 0.3 and hit enter. So we will not place text outside of this. We can pull the guide. Here we cannot see, but still it will snap. So that is done. Now if we want, we can set our guideline for actual size.
All right. And this is the time we will extend our background. So let's do that. I will select this, press shift key, select black one, this green and from this side, this shape. Simply, I will extend this way. From all the side. And now we can delete that rectangular shapes. That's all. So this is how we set our bleed limits our actual size guideline and guideline for the text. What will be the final result? I will just create one rectangular shape here for demonstration purpose. Double click and I will give red color, object, order to front of the page. It is just for demonstration purpose. You don't need to do that. You can see the red box this is our final card that is the actual size now here we have space around we have a background so once they will trim so there will be no more possibility that white space will remain around the design we can delete that in the next lesson we are going to learn how to export our design layout to pdf for final printing and in our pdf we will see how this bleed limit it works that's all for now. I hope you learned something new and enjoy this lesson. Try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload a new video. Thank you.